Other tracker two in Farmington. Jill, what do you see in there? Well, you know what? We were traveling along Route 4 and headed back east, and sure enough, I saw that a part of Route 4 was being blocked because a tree came down on power lines, and we did see Eversource out here. You can still see that there is at least a tree branch of some sort uh, across part of the road here uh, going eastbound, and then you can see the police off in the distance blocking. So just a small portion blocked off. Again, Eversource has left, so maybe, you know, power back on kind of thing but we got to get that little branch cleared away and uh, make sure everything is safe in this area so the wind you know it, it didn't have to be strong today for issues to develop and uh, that's what we've been seeing across uh, different parts of the state is uh, you know branches knocked down and unfortunately if they fall on power lines you know what happens then uh, but yeah right now the precipitation has lightened up in the Farmington area seems the worst has uh, shifted down to the south and the east uh, but as uh, Mark was talking about there's more rain and storms coming in back from the west so we'll continue to track this activity as we head south and eastward along uh, Route 4. Again, just be careful if you're going to be traveling out there. You get under one of those storms, the uh, visibility is super low. It's dangerous. Ponding and flooding can quickly result. Reporting live from Farmington from Weather Tracker 2, I'm meteorologist Jill Gillardi, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Jill,